Hey guys, it's Alexis, and welcome to Cool Kids Crafts with Professional Cool Kids, and it's been a while, but that's all I can think of to say. So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a crayon stencil rub type thing using a stencil, a piece of paper, and a crayon of your choice. I'm using black because it shows up really good, and I've pre-peeled this stuff off of it. So, and I have my, um, my stencils here. So, now, sorry if the camera shakes, but, yeah, I got a new thing to hold my camera, so it goes out of there. And I think I would go with this numbers one, just for the sake of showing you how to do it. I'm going to take this. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna take our paper and put it on top of it, and then we're just gonna rub our crayon across our paper. this cool little design like that I hope you guys can see that pretty well on camera but yeah it makes a design like that so just get a little bit more of my paper here um, it works really well on note or on book text so if you just let me grab my book text I'll just pull out a piece, and we're going to try it on that piece that we just pulled out. Here it is. And, hmm, I think the stencil that we're going to try with this one today will be, I want it to be one that kind of fits onto it. Let's go with the flowers. The flowers look cool. I don't know. They're very thick, so I don't know how they'll how well they'll work. But we're just going to do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead on here and rub it. This stencil doesn't work the best for it. So I guess I'm going to try this uh, clock face one here. Yeah, and this one's working well. And there you see there are the clock designs. So I'm just going to trim this up and I'll be right back when we color it. Okay, so we're ready to color it. I have up here a cup of water to use for my watercolors. And here I have my watercolors, which these don't work as well as professional watercolors. These are just like Crayola brand, but they do actually have really vibrant color for Crayola you know, brand like school supplies type stuff. They actually have really good quality. So, yeah, I actually really kind of like these. I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. Okay, I'm adding water to each of them. And mixing them with the water to give it that tint. There we go. 
So sorry for my hand reaching across the camera a lot. Maybe I should move this over. Here. But <clears throat> so now I'm just going to take my colors. I've chosen this blue here. And we're just gonna fill in some areas. And the wax from the crayon adds a little bit of a wall to it to make sure the paint doesn't escape. So it looks like it was nice and professionally colored in, but really it was colored in by me. And I honestly sometimes feel like I'm a failure at art because I'm just really not, I'm really sloppy with the things I like to do and so yeah. Now this is really thick so I'm just gonna dip my brush in it and keep wiping it off until I've got it a little less thick. And one of the things that I like to do while I'm doing this is I like to use a small brush. This one came with a small brush, but if you don't have a little kit like I do, then use a small brush for for this because it, you know, helps you get into the small areas. Logic, you know. And here we go. That looks pretty good so far. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, of a yellow, maybe. Let me see how the yellow looks on paper. It's too bright for this, I think, so. Okay, so. I finally picked the color that I want, and I'm just going to very carefully. I don't want to use a whole lot of this, because I don't want a really dark coating, because then we won't be able to see the uh, book text very well. And I like the look of the book text on it. I really think it adds some to the... I think it adds something to the look of this. And a little bit of water. Also, another thing that I like to do is whenever I dip my brush in water to clean it, I like to run my fingers across it and kind of give it this flat edge here. It makes it a little sharper whenever you want to add into thinner areas. So that's just what I'm doing here. I'm adding a little bit of oomph, a little bit of color to this to really make it nice and bold. So like on these clock faces, there's little numbers here that I'm kind of... I'm kind of tracing them a little bit, but I'm also kind of being a little sloppy about it because I kind of want the look of it being looking good at the same time that I want the look of it looking, you know, kind of sloppy and free-willed. And... So I'm getting a little bit of both. And, hold up, let me just... Do some here. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is okay. So now what we're gonna wanna do is I'm going to take my 
brush and I'm going to fill in some of these little parts on the inside of here and because they're so detailed and deep I'm going to try to be very cautious. And because some of these lines also don't kind of show up very well and they're too thin, I might just end up scrapping this idea and if I do that then I'm probably going to take a sponge and just go over it and that should clear it right up. So I filled them all in with the red and I've kind of gone over it a little bit with this sponge here and a little bit of water to soften the look and this one looks a little too soft so I'm just going to go back over these and try again. Dip a little bit in the water and and there we go. It softened it and this looks pretty good. And that was also fairly simple. I mean you could do that with stuff you probably already have laying around your home. If you have a kid or if you are a kid or if you just for some reason have crayons for your art then you can just use the stencil go over it and color it in with watercolors and they don't have to be watercolors I just like the look of them because as you can see here you see the lines of the words through it and it looks very nice and beautiful so there you have it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye